All right, so here we are back in part five of this series. Uh, 7.3.5 is where we're checking out today. Um, all ravens are black. All right, so let's see what this one's got going for it. Hulkbuster Cosmic Avalanche. Whenever Cosmic Attackers activate a special attack, they gain a 40% Fury buff for the duration of that special attack for each unique buff on them. Oh, that's interesting. Why does it look like Angela is going to be really good for this one? I might have to rank 3 mine. I don't... Do I have mine duped or not? I don't remember. Alright, suffocation on defender when struck. 100% chance to apply a stifle debuff to the attacker for 6 seconds, reducing com offensive combat power rate by 25% max stack force. Each unique buff... On so yeah, if you used Angela with Odin... Yeah... You're going to be just fine. Feats of Mystic Ward, not a big deal. Uh, hold on, let me zoom out. All right, Hulkbuster, Jubilee. I still don't know how she works. War Machine, ooh, Crossbones. Ew. Uh, Silver Warrior and um, Storm X. Okay, so yeah, you can just Angela all that. Carnage. When it be like water, when the defender is inflicted with a non-damaging debuff, they gain an unblockable passive for 10 seconds. Attacker gains no power. Rise to power when the defender is knocked down. A four-second timer starts. While active, each time the defender lands a hit or strikes into the block, they gain 30%. Stun vulnerability. Huh. Whenever the defender is inflicted with a non-damaging debuff, so... Honestly, this would be where you want two different champions. White, white a Magneto, uh, House of X, or White Nito, 6-star, and White Nito, 5-star. Because <laughs> then you could just put pre-fight on all six of these fights, and you would never inflict a non-damaging debuff. Because that would be your parry. Uh, how else could you stun? Huh. Honestly, I, I, I'm not really too sure. Wait a second. There's a long shot, so you could torch that. So that would take one of the fights out. Yellow jacket. Same stuff. Rise to power when it's knocked down. Whenever they're knocked down, they're going to be unblockable after. So, it, like, I don't know why it has strikes into the block, but I guess that's just the way the thing is worded. So, yeah, I would probably bring AA for, like, the first three with White Nito pre fight. Uh, torch the long shot because you don't need to knock them down. Just, um, oh, yeah, I guess you can just heavy bait. So, torch the long shot, fury the, um, yellow jacket, archangel, carnage, uh, Mr. Fantastic, airwalker. And then Heimdall, heavy counter heavy with uh, Cable. So uh, Cable, Archangel, Apocalypse, White Nito, Fury, Torch. That's six, so I can't fit that on the team. <laughs> uh, okay, so I guess you could just drop Archangel and go Cable, Apoc, um, Fury, Torch, White Nito. Yeah, that'd work. Okay. Uh, next one. Uh, Abomination. Knock down, you gain a Paradox thingamajig. Debuff supplied by the attacker, gain 20%. So I knock them down, and you get more debuff duration. Reduce incoming damage by 90%. Disabled. Footloose. And you need a poison immune, a poison immune, 
Someone that can counter miss. And then where's this path lead? Okay, torch, poison them in, and then a torch. So you could torch two. Okay, so it's three science and what, three mystics? Yeah. So the three science, you're going to need a poison immune. Or, no. You Well, you'll need a poison immune for three of the fights. That, uh, that's annoying. Uh, it's workaroundable, but... Um, I would say... Torch definitely for unstoppable Colossus. No pre-fight on that one. Because you'll be it just probably isn't worth it. And then pre-fight the Sasquatch. A poison immune for um Abomination Man thing and a mortal abomination. And then I suppose you could torch an invisible woman, but she she's not really a great torture, so Maybe Fury. Suppose you could do that. Hmm. That, that'll take more thinkings. All right. Uh, X twenty three technical suppression. Whenever attack attack tech attacker activates a special attack, they have a one hundred percent to ounce to heal block. Trend defender was already heal blocked on attacker. Grudge. While Defender has Heal Block slash Power Lock, gain plus 100% combat power rate on Defender when Heal Block or Power Lock expires. Gain debuff immunity for 5 seconds. Hurt Locker and I healing every 15 seconds. The Defender passively regenerates. Alright, so this is like a Warlock lane. Although you can probably ghost... The, no, no. Uh, well, you can ghost the first two, but Sinister, you'll have to Warlock. And then... Uh, ghost, Ghost... Can Ghost. So, yeah. Alright. Uh, Purgatory, I always... I don't even know what the heck she does. She sucked. Use Torch. Whenever the attacker is not under the effect of a regeneration buff, the defender gains passive fury every one second. It is not. So each fury increases the defender's attack by 50%. All removed of the defender gains a regeneration buff. So, you, so she's just going to be increasing her attack for, what, the first 12 seconds? Because the defender gains regeneration over over 5 seconds yes yeah, so, but you'll still have to wait the first 12 seconds then they're going to be unblockable and then special attack heal block oh good gosh that's going to be annoying as crud um yeah this is probably just a ghost Heal, uh, special attack heal block passive fate seal against regeneration buff so yeah let's see ghost 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 where does this go that ain't it yeah that's it uh ghost 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 I think you can ghost silver centurion another one that I don't I don't really pay attention to. <laughs> so, all right, now this Black Panther. Uh, Paradox debuffs gain one persistent Paradox charge whenever they apply a debuff. Plus 10% combat power rate for each Paradox on them. Quantum Invasion, all attacks are unblockable. Power Shield. Okay, so that's that same one. So, I think this is just another ghost one. Uh,. I don't know if the new, since he had his update, whether he's got an anti miss. I'll need to check that. Prox, Black Panther, Civil Warrior. Then, yeah, that goes back to the same place. Ghost. Once again, I don't know if Jabari has an anti miss. Ghost. So, okay. Yeah, so a lot of that's ghostable. So that's not such a problem. Uh, Warlock. Have been flow heavy, not a big deal. Redlining was more than 33% of 
of their max power. They gain a power gain passive, which raises their combat rate. Which raises their combat rating, and if the attacker has more than 75% of their max power, they are immediately power drained down to zero. Okay. Stage Fright. Bubble Shield. Okay, so still, that's a ghost. Um, build up a little bit, and I get to a bar, power, throw a heavy phase, one hit, and then special. And probably use power back boost and just try to kill him quickly. You have hood on the team. Yeah, that's, that's probably ghostable. Elsa, persistent pressure. Defenders under the effect of an unstoppable become stun immune. This includes unstoppable effects triggered outside this node every 15 seconds. Buff synthesis, pure fury precision, evasive maneuvers. If the defender is attacked while this charge is active, it can consume. Yeah, so don't knock them down until you throw a special. Tenacity. Yeah, ghost. Cable, surge protector. Whenever the defender is struck with a basic attack, they gain a surge charge. If the defender activates a special attack, any surge charges on them are consumed and refund 10% of their spent power per charge. If the defender is struck by a special attack, any surge charge on them are consumed and inflict a burst of direct damage to the defender equal to 25% of the attackers per charge. Enhanced Vigorous Assault, Energize, Aggressive. <sighs> Alright, the Vigorous Assault could mess things up a little bit, but probably what you want to do is just get to a Special 3, or Special 2 with Ghost, and then have him throw off his Special, have him charge in, and if he's not unblockable, you can just parry and then throw the special two, or you can do the special two intercept. So, yeah, that's not yeah, that's not too bad. All these are ghostable minis, though. So, this is probably a heavy ghost chapter. Overall, not too bad. Um, this paradox thing is a little bit weird, and, and like whenever they throw out these new nodes, you really gotta just play with it and then see how it actually is. Or watch someone else do it. So we'll see how that one turns out. All right. So uh, this was part five, seven point three point five. One more coming for seven point three point six. And uh, thank y'all for watching. Have a good one.